Okay, today we're going to make this airport uh, fire truck. A lot of people when we did the tour of the fire department uh, mentioned this truck in particular that they wanted to see how it was made. And uh, we thought that was kind of amusing because this actually is another spare part vehicle. We received a couple pieces from a garage sale and we tried to repurpose them into something that would be useful for town and this is what we came up with and it is a fire truck which doesn't look like the other fire trucks and in fact on the city streets is a uh, a lot bigger than than initially it would look in fact I'll show it next to a regular pickup truck uh, just so you can see a size comparison it is quite a bit larger than your typical Lego town vehicle so the main part that's behind this is a special part which is why this is a spare parts truck and you can kind of see it's here it's this chassis piece that goes to a helicopter or at least I believe it's from a helicopter so as we take it apart you'll see that that that's the core of the vehicle and if you have that piece you'll be able to build it if you don't you might find a way to work around it so let's get started okay here you can see the helicopter chassis piece that I was referring to it is a specialty piece in fact I'm not entirely sure what set it's from it has clipped corners on it it has a hole where the seat would go for the cockpit these are pre-printed on they are uh, not stickers they're actually printed on onto the piece itself and it's this kind of post arrangement so we got this in a bag at a garage sale and tried to build a truck around it because we didn't really need another helicopter frankly so this is the beginning chassis piece or I should say upper frame piece put taller doors on it than normal because it is a you no know, it's for airport fires which tend to be very hot so you put on these taller doors you could use regular doors if that's what you had so there it is with the doors and we're going to add uh, sloped bits onto the back to give it a little bit of a rounded back heading to where the equipment goes okay and that's that main back piece so I'm going to set that aside over here and we're going to do the front bit okay this is the other specialized piece uh, that's used for this actually I'll take the steering wheel off so you can you can see uh, this is all one piece the wheels are not piece, uh, not one piece. I already attached the wheels. They just, you know, they come off. So it's it's just it's this kind of a of a of a piece, and it's got uh, slopes to it. Let's do it right side up. It's got slopes on either end, inverted slopes, and then the wheel hubs are actually molded right on the piece. So I go ahead and put the wheels on, and this is the main chassis of the of the model. So. Uh, put the steering wheel on there and then this main chassis uh, bit just drops right over top of it just like that and you can see that's the bulk of the vehicle right there uh, the front is a mold is a pre-printed 1x4 piece uh, this is printed right on there you could use the regular headlight pieces if you wanted and uh, that just goes right on the front. Looks kind of funny now. It'll it'll look better in a minute. This is the uh, regular two by four piece. We'll just put that in this big gap here. We'll add a bumper bracket in case you have to push your way into a burning aircraft and to inject your phone. This is actually a sticker that was extra on another set and we put it on here Oops. just because we had it and this is a regular 2x2 uh, two two slope piece it's very hard to hold on to <laughs> put that on the front it has some crud on the side that's just a leftover sticker from something else so. this is a regular 1x4 uh, piece and it fills this gap here uh, I think there's a lot of interesting things you could probably do here for control panels and whatnot that we have not done, but uh, that's for you to make your own version. This is a regular control panel. It's a one by two Lego tile. 
You put that up there, that's for the nozzles or whatever. And then this is the windshield base. It's kind of that, you know, green, yellow, clear piece. And that goes in front of the control panel, like that. And to help hold the doors on, since there's not a normal windshield, we just have grill pieces here. So they just kind of go on there to, to brace the doors like that. So go ahead and put the other one on. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. And I'll show you how to build this top arrangement. Okay, so this is a standard roof piece uh, that they use on the new sets. I don't know if you can see that real well. It's got those clipped corners on it. And uh, that's what sits on the roof of our fire truck. So we're going to flip it over upside down. And we're going to put a 2x3 plate right inside the top. We need that there to hold the windshield on because of the way the windshield is constructed. And then to that we're going to add a 1x4 plate to the back. So in the end it looks like that. Now to this place that we've put there we're going to use this special windshield piece. These aren't uncommon but they're not overly common. Uh, and we're just going to hook that right up against that piece that we put there. And that's going to give the windshield going to line up straight with the roof like that. For the light bar we're using a 1x4 plate and we're adding blue light and a 1x2 tile uh, in that red, that trans red color. It's a little bit different lighting scheme than we have on the fire trucks in town but it's an airport vehicle so you can kind of get away with it. That's the light bar. I'm going to put that right on those two lugs on the back of the roof. We'll bring in our chassis and uh, it hooks right on just like this. And that is the, oh, now it's just a weird looking truck. We'll add the fire apparatus, uh, the fire equipment next. And for that we're going to move him off to the side. Okay, the fire nozzle pieces, the the fire nozzle assemblies look something like this. This one's already built. I'm going to just set it down and we'll build the other one. You want to build them so that they are a mirror image of each other. So we'll start with, uh, it's a standard headlight piece, one by one headlight piece. And into the side of it we're going to stick one of these, uh, it's like a megaphone piece. or. or I'm not really sure what else you'd call it. Um, we use them as megaphones in town. The cops have them. And we're going to plug that right into that hole there. Like that. It's a pretty snug fit. It doesn't come off. Uh, to the end of it we're going to put on a uh, one by one around uh, around cylinder piece. That's kind of our nozzle. And then to the back side of it, just to give it a little bulk, we're going to put on a uh, one by one black brick, just a regular black brick. Okay, so those are our two nozzles. We set those aside for now. Okay, this is the back assembly. Uh, this is the tank and the hoses, and uh, it all comes off as one piece, and it comes off fairly easily actually. And I think there's a lot of room here for customizing and, and coming up with new ways of doing things. Um, this is just the way that we've done it so far. And it is it is literally the entire back of the vehicle including the taillights. So we're gonna oh, my, my background is falling. We're gonna do this uh, in a couple different stages. But that's what it'll look like when it's all done. The main specialty piece that's in the back is this tank piece. Um, I'm not sure where you'd find this. It's on a lot of those underwater sets. But at any rate, to the top of it we're going to add a red 2x2 tile. This one happens to be from another Lego set. I think you can see the number on there. Uh, which we've taken that set apart. Uh, so we're just going to put that tile on the top like that. And then on the immediate lugs right below it, we'll put a 1x2 flat piece. Black. And we have another tile that has another uh, sticker on it that's from another Lego set. I'm just going to put that on there. And that's that's the beginning of our of our tank assembly. So we'll set that off here to the side. So we need it. The main bracket that holds the 
whole back assembly to the to the truck is this two by three plate and to the bottom side of that we're going to put on the uh, one by four plate with the with the bracket on it and that holds our tail lights which are just your usual little round red guys so we'll go ahead and put those on and then for the back bumper uh, set that down we're using a roll bar piece and we're going to use it upside down just to be different and to the top of it we're going to attach these one by one uh, funnel looking pieces they're kind of tapered on the bottom those go right in like just like that and then that fastens into the back end just kind of sits on that bracket just like that okay so that's our, our back bumper and the the bottom of our tank area so let me set that sub assembly aside so the back brace for the tank area is this 1x4 plate and we're going to use two of these bracket pieces. I don't know how hard it is to see that. It's got that little grabber for holding a tool. So I'm going to put one on each end with the uh, with the bracket kind of facing that direction. It's facing vertical. You can't tell yet, of course, until you actually see it on the vehicle. So there's those. And then we're going to use two of these pieces that have the the hole through them. The uh, well, it's like a little bracket that has that hole. I'm going to put those up facing the same direction. Um, you see it better that way, maybe. How they go together? So those kind of sit like that. You know, just for decorations purposes, we have a one by one tile that has the air pressure sort of gauge thing on it. We're going to use that. And then this is like a, a refilling nozzle, a nozzle that lets them fill the tank back up, that faucet kind of piece. So we're going to put that on. And if you're a fire truck, you got to have an axe. That's good equipment for any fire truck to have. So we're just going to snap that onto that bracket on that side. And of course, you've got to have your radio. So we're going to snap that on to the bracket on that side. So that's those bits. Now, the hoses, there are two hoses, and they simply fasten onto these uh, round parts here, like that. There's one on that side, and there's one on this side. And there's our back assembly. So if we take our back bumper piece, take our tank piece and we'll attach it right on like that and then this back brace piece simply goes on right above those and that is the whole back of the truck all put together. Okay, we're going to wheel our main chassis back in here. It's actually easier to put the back on if you take off that roof assembly again. So we'll do that. And you'll see why. We're going to take this whole back assembly that we have, and that bracket there is going to go right inside there, just like that. Can you see that? It just goes right inside, and just push down. That's why you have to take the roof off. Get your finger in there to push that securely in place. Alright, now we put this roof piece back on. Uh, it comes off pretty easily, so it's easy to get guys inside. Remember our forward nozzles? Well, we're going to take our nozzles and they're going to sit the headlight piece uh, right, right in front of that chunk there. So we'll go ahead and put those on. And then you just hook up the hoses. Hook this one up to this side. this one up to this side <laughs> and then hook this one up again and then it falls off. Sometimes these hoses are a little bit uh, a little bit of a pain. There we go. 
Uh, you have to turn them around to get them in the right spot sometimes. They want to bend the way they want to bend. But there he goes. There's the completed truck. And it's ready to put out your airport fires. And of course you can refill it right there in the back. And we have another truck we use for that actually. And that's it. So good luck and happy burning. And we just put it on this uh, two by two slope. And that is going to go um, right on the front here. I'll put that in the wrong place. Ugh. Okay, let's start that front bit over again. <laughs> I forgot how to build my own mom. And uh, we're going to use that, and it just clips right onto the front. Like that. Let's roll this guy back over here, and it doesn't fit. Ah, I screwed up the whole thing. You can't even build your own model. What's that? You can't even build your own model. I know, I can't even build my own model. What is wrong with me? How does that go on? Oh, I see, it goes on like that. Oh, great. That was dumb. And we'll bring our back piece around here. And it just slides right into that hole in the back there. And push down. I'm actually putting my finger inside the truck to make sure that I get a good fit there. And I've knocked the whole thing into pieces. Let's try that again. 